17 people are still missing. Both those numbers could rise. So many families were inside homes like the one behind me when the storm struck and they had no time to run. The flash floods right there. Get out of here. Go. This is the moment a relentless torrent of muddy earth swept through Santa Barbara. Close the door. Marco Farrell and his family managing to escape what so many others could not outrun. <laughs> My mom lived up at that house and she got swept away Monday night. For hours, Hayden Gower searched for his mother, Josie. I, I don't know how anyone could survive this. I, her body was found late Wednesday. Her family says they're devastated. Neighbors are so desperate to find loved ones, they're forming their own search teams. Diane Brewer waiting for any sign of her best friend. We go dig and find her, but honest to God, I never could imagine such a scene. Among the missing, children, mothers, and fathers. The torrent of mud so powerful, drivers were washed down roads. James and Alice Mitchell were killed in their home when it crumbled. The place looks like a, a war zone, and they were, seemed to be in the epicenter of it. Just down the street from the Mitchells, Inga Gilbar was carried out of her home by firefighters. I saw this torrent, raging river coming down with cars and rocks. More than 100 people were rescued by first responders. <laughs> 14-year-old Lauren Canton is recovering in the hospital after her dramatic rescue. Her brother and father are missing and feared dead. One of Southern California's most iconic coastlines now completely transformed. Hey, Oprah, how are you? Ellen DeGeneres, who's been forced from her own home because of the mudslides, FaceTiming on her show with neighbor Oprah Winfrey, who was surveying the damage in her own backyard. I love Montecito so much. It is the greatest community. It is. And it's, you know, what is devastating is that we've lost so many lives and it's such a tiny little community. Now as the massive cleanup begins, <laughs> those desperate to find loved ones trying to keep hope amid so much heartbreak. Rescue teams say they have searched about 75% of the debris field. The problem is inside so many homes, the mud is several feet deep and there is real concern that families may be buried inside their own homes. Guys, back to you. Such a heartbreaking story, Miguel. Thank you.